morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the show. Before we get into today's news that I have for you guys, is Triple H reveals why Jim Mahal has earned his respect. That's the news we're going to get into today. But before we get into that, guys, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. My Twitter is at the talk show 101. I'll leave the link for you in the description for you guys below. Go follow me, go tweet me, and subscribe to the channel if you're new to it on top of that. So I got everything out of the way, got everything covered. Let's get into the news on why Triple H reveals why he has earned his respect. Was below. I'll leave the link in the description. Jinder Mahal has continued to prove his doubters by wrong by defeating Shinsuke Nakamura at Hell in a Cell on Sunday to retain his WWE title. That match was so bad Sunday. That match was really bad on Sunday. You know, he won clean. Okay, Jinder Mahal is a heel. Heels don't win clean. They cheat to win. Triple H did that years ago. Okay? He would always win by cheating all the time. He would never win clean. Okay? And I was shocked when that happened. And when that took place, when we saw Jinder Mahal beat Shinsuke Nakamura at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. And that pay-per-view was so awful. Jinder Mahal is not a good champion in the WWE. He's not good for the company as a champion. He doesn't make that title mean anything in this company. While if it's on Raw and SmackDown, he doesn't make the company mean anything to me. So with him being champion, I just disagree with it. 100% they went in that route and did that for him. Um, he won clean, which is surprised by me. Because I wasn't expecting, you know, Jinder Mahal to beat Nakamura clean. I was expecting Jinder Mahal to somehow cheat to win because that's what heels do. Um, now, Mahal has surpassed a lot of legendary WWE championship terms of title reign. He beat Randy Orton at Backlash for the pay at, um, at the pay-per-view to beat Randy Orton and become the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Although Mahal has not yet earned the respect of some members of the WWE Universe. Because I look at him and he's on steroids. Okay, the guy's not a good performer. He's not good in the ring. The guy doesn't have the ability to actually perform good. When I look at him wrestle, he's so awful. All they do is guy is just jacked up on steroids. He's just jacked up and the guy doesn't mean anything to me. You know, he was part of the 3MB. If you guys remember that back then in 2010. He was part of the 3MB um, group, okay? And they ruined Drew McIntyre. Two years after that, you know, Drew McIntyre went to a better promotion, and he's doing better. You know, Drew McIntyre could have a good career in this company. You know, Vince said, well, you're the chosen one, in quotations, I'll say. And they didn't do nothing with him. He was an Intercontinental Champion. That's really basically it. That's all I remember. But he was a WWE Intercontinental Champion. And this is the problem that we have when the company doesn't treat their talents right and book them right to the full potential and the full ability to actually become something and branch out and have the freedom of their character instead of all this scripted stuff. Um, so, I, he has not earned my respect. Jim Hall has not earned my respect as a as him being WWE World Heavyweight Champion. He has not earned my respect at all. Okay? So, Triple H has, is a big fan of the modern day, I think it's Majra, I think. So, in an interview with the Indo-Asian news service, Triple H asked if Jinder Mahal has earned his respect after reinventing himself since his return. The WWE executive was in India to promote the company's tour in December, where Mahal is in the main is the main attraction right now. 
Triple H said that Mahal's hard work and in a new attitude has helped him gain his respect. First off, I will say this. When Jim Mahal first became a heel and reinvented himself before he was champion, I loved it. I was drawn into it. I was looking forward to it. He was good as a heel. His mic skills were good. You know, I loved Jim Mahal, man, big time. And I was like, you know what? I'd rather have him be champion than Randy Orton. Either if I was a fan of him or not. I'd rather see him be champion instead of Randy Orton. Okay? But what I saw him beat Nakamura, I 100% disagree with that because Nakamura should have won at Hell in the Cell. That whole match was so awful. And people were accepting that outcome. People were accepting that match happen between those two. So you let me know in the comments below. Does that does Jim Mahal? Do you have respect for him? I mean, I have respect for for wrestlers because you know they work hard in the ring to perform for us. You know, because they get injured, sometimes they're out forever, sometimes the whole career is done. I have his respect. He has my respect. Let's say he does have my respect, and the reason why I do say that is because wrestlers put their body on the line for us. To entertain us. That's why they make so much money. Because if they get hurt, you know, they have a lot of money to help themselves get that surgery and stuff, you know. That's why they make a tons of money because they do get hurt. So they have to make $2 million or more than that. Um, so this is what Triple H is saying. This is where, you know, he's coming from with all this whole thing. You know, yes, you know, Jim Hall could have done something back then. But, it's being speculated that Jim Mahal only got his push because WWE is expanding in India. And that's true. That's 100% true. He only got that because of India. But, he's not from India. Okay? Mahal, it should be noted that Mahal was born in Canada. So, he's Canadian. He's not from, you know... He's not from India. He's not from that country. But he can speak the language and stuff. So he's from originally from Canada. So how should we feel about Mahal now? How do we take Mahal now since he's Canadian? But he's not from India. How does that make any sense? Is he is from India. If he's not from India. And they're promoting this whole thing in India. Because you know they think he's from India. When he's really not. He was born in Canada. Which I love Canada. I love Canada. I've been there. Love that place. It's a good place to go. If you ever want to go there. Go to Canada. It's a good place um, to visit. To see places. So, But this is crazy. So he's really not from India. He's born in Canada. So how do we take this different now from him? Should we still hate him for it, but what, as a champion or not? How do we look at this now? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Click the thumbs up button, guys, and please follow me on Twitter at the Talk Show 101. Link will be below. That's today's wrestling topic, guys, of the show, and I'll catch you guys out on the next one. Subscribe.